Hello everybody, my name is Davis, and welcome back to another video, and today we're here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today we're going to be talking about an ongoing tornado outbreak and a blizzard in the same video. Yes, you heard that right, a tornado outbreak and a blizzard are occurring at the same time. Today I'm going to be breaking down all the details and what you need to know about these storms, alright? So we're going to start off the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today, where we have an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms for the rest of the night from portions of southern Louisiana back into portions of the Florida Panhandle here. All right, now luckily we don't have too many major cities in the path of this thing, but we do have New Orleans, Louisiana, and then also Mobile, Alabama. Okay, so be careful in those areas. All right, tornado threat for the rest of the night. You have a 10% chance to see a EF2 to EF5 tornado in your town if you are in that yellow area with the line circle there. That's why we are incredibly concerned tonight for strong tornadoes is because there's such a big area that has a chance to see them, all right? So you need to be very careful if you're down in the deep south for the rest of the night. Stay tuned into your local weather station or your local national weather service. If you don't know what that is, you can find it pretty easily on Google. All right, so be very careful there for the rest of the night, all right? Damaging wind threat, you have a 30% chance to see wind gusts of 65 knots or higher uh, if you are down there in the deep south, once again, in the red line circle for the rest of the night, right? So once again, 65 knots, that's about 75 to 80 mile per hour winds. You need to be extremely careful for those, okay? Because even if you don't get a tornado, that damaging wind threat can still cause a lot of problems. It can be like a low-end tornado threat, okay? So be very careful again there for the rest of the night. Hail threat, you have a 15% chance to see hail of one inch or larger if you're in the yellow area there for the rest of the night. So uh, that's not quite as big of a threat as the tornado and damaging wind threats, but again, New Orleans and Mobile, be very careful. Now we go into tomorrow and it doesn't get any better. We have another enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms thunderstorms, this time across an even bigger area in the southeastern United States, in the orange there, okay? So tornado threat for tomorrow, we have two, two 10% hatch risk for tornadoes tomorrow, okay? Once again, that means that if you're in the yellow areas tomorrow with the line circle thingy, you have a 10% chance to see a strong tornado in your town, okay? So you've got to be incredibly careful tomorrow. Uh, this time, it's across portions of southeast Alabama, southwest Georgia, and the panhandle of Florida there, so Tallahassee and Dothan, but the the other one includes Charleston, South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, and Wilmington in North Carolina. Okay, so you're going to have to be very careful for that tornado threat tomorrow. We'll be going live covering tornadoes at 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, so uh, keep a lookout for that. I'm going to be helping everybody get through this event if they need it. All right, damaging wind threat. You have a 30% chance once again to see wind gusts of 75 to 80 miles per hour tomorrow if you are in that red area with the lines, okay? So you've got to be incredibly careful for that once again. That damaging wind threat can be just as scary as the tornado threat. Uh, hail threat for tomorrow, you have a 5% chance to see hail of one inch or larger if you are in that brown shade area. So again, hail is more of a third threat, not even like a secondary threat, but still look out for it, okay? So we go into Wednesday and we have a short break from severe weather, but it quickly picks up again once we go into Thursday and we have a day four slight risk of severe weather for portions of East Texas, Louisiana, West Mississippi, and Southern Arkansas. This is going to be the third day big storm in a row that's going to be impacting that area, okay? So it's going to be incredibly uh, active down here in the deep south, you could say, for the next several days, all right? And we even have a day five slate risk, once again, for the Dixie Alley and portions of the southeast, okay? So you've got to be incredibly careful over the next several days if you are in the southeast United States for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the NAM here. So uh, usually I take a look at the GFS, but the NAM is actually better for uh, doing, you know, for covering smaller, like not smaller, but like covering a certain one event instead of, you know, a bunch of thunderstorms in a row. Basically what I'm trying to say is that this is going to give us much more detail than the GFS would. So we can see that we have that ongoing blizzard there in portions of Kansas, Missouri, even kind of stretching into Illinois there now. Also portions of Oklahoma seeing some heavy snowfall. And then we see our cluster of strong thunderstorms there, some even being supercells across portions of the southern United States. We go into midnight tonight, we're going to see that line move off to the east there, and that blizzard kind of be centered around the southern Kansas City area, so be careful there. Uh, this line will continue to move off to the east and become even more intense, it's looking like, all right? We're going to see a lot of those embedded supercells pop up, likely. We take over to the southeastern United States here, all right? We can see this line move through Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, 
Virginia, even West Virginia. And by 4 p.m. tomorrow, this is what we could be looking at, all right? So this will be around the time that I am live covering severe weather. This is the area you can expect me to be looking at the whole time, all right? It's going to be pretty intense. This will move off to the east. It'll leave us. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our snow system here that will have moved off to the northeast, all right? And this line of damaging thunderstorms is also going to stretch into the, new, uh, the northeast, actually, bringing some heavy snowfall and damaging thunderstorms once again. And then our other snow system will kind of fizzle out there, just leaving some snow showers in the northeast for the rest of tomorrow and Wednesday, likely. Okay, so we go into uh, the snow totals, all right? On 5 p.m. Central Time tomorrow, this is how much snowfall you could get between now and then, all right? So this is not uh, all the snow that's going to be on the ground, but this is the totals on top of what you might already have on the ground, okay? So we can see some pretty heavy snowfall in the northwest, but that's to be expected this time of year, honestly, all right? And that's just in the mountains anyway, really. But uh, we can see our snow system, our blizzard, if you will, kind of centered around the Midwest tonight, the Western Midwest. And it's going to bring some heavy snowfall to portions of northwest Illinois here. We can even see some 10-inch readings there on the Iowa-Illinois border, just under 10 inches, I should say. We might get an isolated spot to reach, uh, reach 10 inches, but yeah, there's one there, uh, West Wayland in Missouri, actually. But uh, this general area could just be looking at, you know, that 6 to 8, maybe 9 inches of snow, all right? We could also see some snow in northern Illinois around the Chicago region, probably about 5, maybe 3 or 4 inches of snow actually so uh to, you know it's not gonna be too big of a threat uh for what you guys are used to but it could be heavy at times we're also gonna have an area down in kansas that could see quite a bit of snow potentially upwards of half a foot near newton there so uh be wary of that as well all right now unfortunately we cannot get a good rating here so it's just saying three inches of snow might be more than that you know but you know what maybe it, it'll just be three inches we don't know okay so uh we are also going to be looking at uh some heavy snowfall for really the entirety of the great lakes but again for a winter, you know, a January day that's not to be unexpected. Finally, watches, warnings, and advisories. That light brown tannish cover, uh, color that's pretty much covering the entirety of the southeastern United States uh, is wind advisories, all right? So we've got a wind advisory for every county in Florida, every county in Georgia, every county in Alabama, every county in Mississippi, every county in Louisiana, every county in Arkansas, every county in Oklahoma, every county in South Carolina, every county in North Carolina. Okay, it is insane how many wind advisories we have up right now for the entirety of the southeastern United States. Like I said, yellow, that's your tornado. Tornado watch for the rest of the night, alright? So, we all, uh, also have a flash flood warning here, or a couple flash fl flood warnings down in Mississippi and Louisiana in that red color there, okay? So, be careful in that area. We did not have any severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings in effect at this moment of filming, but, like, by the time this goes up, we could have uh, five warnings going up at once. So, it just depends at what point of the night you are at. Oranges slash that kind of reddish-orange color, those are your blizzard warnings. And you may notice there's a uh, unfamiliar familiar pink color for a county there in the western Oklahoma panhandle and southwest Kansas, okay? Those are civil emergency messages. It is not common that we get civil emergency messages for weather events, all right, but they are ordering a shelter in place due to the dangerous blizzard conditions out there. So unless you absolutely have to leave the house or drive, don't, all right? They are literally issuing a civil emergency message for portions of Kansas and Oklahoma for those extremely dangerous driving conditions, all right? It is not safe to be out there right now. Pinks, winter storm mornings, we got quite a few of those as well uh, across the Midwest. Purples, winter weather advisories, all right? Now, your darker browns, those are going to be your high wind watches and warnings, uh, but there's not too many of those, and then your dark blues up in portions of Maine are winter storm watches, all right? So, that's going to be it for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe again. It is absolutely insane what we are witnessing right now. This could be one of the biggest weather days of the year already, and I'm saying that in January, all right? There's so much that we don't know about what's going to happen with the weather this year, but this is probably going to be one of those events that gets remembered if we talk about 2024 later down the uh, line in terms of weather events. So uh, stay safe, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.